Ear, Volga, Wizard, Focus Spirit KO counts. This is a really odd one that, again, I don't really see people, like, talk about, but you know how Focus Spirit attacks, how they go up each, like, number of KOs and get, like, a new bonus and the meter refreshes? Usually, these go into counts of 25. However, these three characters are different, and for whatever reason, it goes up by counts of 20 or 38, if I remember right. This is a really weird thing. I noticed the first time they came out for the Wii U version, and like the parallel between these three characters is that like they are the original like enemy boss characters who later became playable in a free update later on. They're like the three original characters too. But yeah, I was like, oh, that's a weird thing to see here, but I didn't question it much because again, like the Wii U version was like brand new when that version's like already weird, but. Interestingly, they didn't change it in later editions of the game, so I don't know if it was like intentional or they're just like, oh, we might as well stick with it again. It's very odd, and I don't really have an answer as to why this happened. Fire fairies are best. So this is the first like opinionated thing, but I don't know, I think it's just like legit. Because the first time I heard this and tried it for myself, I was like, oh yeah, this is what I'm sticking with. And some people might argue that Dark Fairies are the best because they deal damage to the opponents. However, once you get a good Fire Fairy, the amount of defense that they lose just like completely overpowers that. And you can deal significant amounts of damage, especially if they're weak to the elemental weapon you have. Like, you just go through their health like it's fucking butter. I definitely recommend you just stick with Fire. Legend Summoning Gate. An interesting thing that I didn't notice until doing research for this chart because I hardly played Legends. I don't have a copy of it myself, I just played somebody else's ones to like check it out and stuff, but you know how the Summoning Gate Lana summons out the different bosses, like miniature versions of them at least. Well, I guess apparently the 3DS couldn't handle that, like their ice climbers or something, and instead you just see these colored orbs come out and yeah, I'm guessing that aside from like Wii U Legends is like the most like niche like different version of the game and you see like a bunch of things in there that you don't see in anything else, especially now that everybody just plays definitive understandably, but yeah, like a cool little detail that like a lot of players probably just never saw. Foddy, Happy Mask Salesman, and Groose. So I have these three all together, it's just like a second layer and shape because whenever I think about characters that people were saying should be in the game or what they wanted in the game, who unfortunately never came out, uh, these three are the biggest. Fodies in a completely like separate group of games that have no representation in here whatsoever, and yeah, he's also another fill-in rep. Happy Mask Salesman, I thought for sure that he was going to be in for the Majora's Mask rep. I remember when they first announced that and they're saying there's going to be two characters, I was like, oh, it's going to be Skull Kid and Happy Mask Salesman, who else would it be? I guess I never considered or remembered Youngling and Tingle. And then Groose, Groose is like the most popular Skyward Sword character, and just one of the most popular characters in general. However, he never made it either, and Skyward Sword never really got like any expansions to the game itself. Just what you got in base content was all you got. But yeah, I don't know, hopefully in the sequel sometime they can come back, but hopefully with like the rest of the cast, but I guess I can talk about that later. Boss Rupee Glitch. This is a glitch in older versions of the game. I don't think it still works in Definitive. I don't know if it was Patch in Legends 2. I think it was, so this is probably just exclusively like a Wii U thing. But basically what it was is that like during a specific frame upon defeating a boss and you specifically had to kill the boss with a normal attack, you couldn't do like the weak point smash. Like as the boss collapsed and a certain frame as it was like disappearing, you had to kill an enemy too and have the enemy drop a rupee and have the rupees land at like the same frame the boss rupees were landing and for whatever reason that would make like the game's counter freak out and would just give you like max rupees instantly and it was very useful for players, I never did it myself even if I tried but especially considering this is the Wii U version where shit was just broken hard, yeah this was good. Weapon Swap Glitch. I think this is another Wii U exclusive glitch, probably, that you could do, and yeah, what it was is that you would trick the game into being able to play as a warrior, but using a different warrior's weapon, so like, you could get, like, Link with, like, Zelda's Rapier or something, and 
anybody with anything, and the funniest results are to use Lana's summoning gate with our characters because of dancing, but I'm not going to go into too much detail with that because there's another really interesting point to point out about that redundant thing to say that I'm going to be talking about in a later entry in this iceberg chart, so just wait for that. Uh, the other thing to say about this is, like, I guess, like, the reason why this happens is, one, everybody shares animations to make modeling simpler, but two, the game actually does this itself later on in uh, challenge mode, and I think maybe later adventure maps, even in definitive edition, so, yeah, I guess it's like, this is an accidental, like, debug trick thing that was just left over in the Wii U version. But yeah, that does it for the second layer, more interesting facts, I hope, and other things. Uh, next up is going through speculation and theories as well as cut content, so I'll see you then.